Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Priscilla Itzel Mutomani, and I'll be presenting the Open for Research Information session for you today. This organogram is just to provide you with some background on the university's Division for Research Development, or the DRD for short. Open for Research is housed by the Research Grants Office. We also deal with institutional, national, and international funding. The Grants Office team is made up of the director, Malian, Lazal, the manager of international grants with a focus on Horizon Europe funding, myself, I mostly work on Horizon Europe funding, in particular, the AU-EU innovation agenda. Levert, who works on US funding, and Dominic and Shannon, who both work on UK funding, such as UCRI and Wellcome Trust, as well as institutional and national funding. You can find information on Open for Research several ways. Through the DRD's list of emails, Please subscribe to this as we also send out funding calls via these emails. Information can also be found on the postdoc and postgrad students newsletters. You can also link directly to Open for Research under the Researcher tab on the My Sun webpage. The Open for Research platform can additionally be accessed directly using the following URL. The landing page looks like this. So, what is Open for Research? It's an easily accessible database for international research funding with over 11,000 opportunities and free to all SU staff and students. How do you access Open for Research? First, you need to register using your SU email address and set an easy password. We will watch a short training video on this later in the presentation. How to search for funding. You can filter your search by customizing to suit your own field of expertise. The Open for Research platform has a drop down menu with several options. Or you can search for a particular type of funding, for example, travel funding, equipment funding, and so on. We will watch a short training video on this later in the presentation. Let Open for Research work for you. You can build different searches save and name them, and even create alerts to receive weekly emails on funding calls. We will watch a short training video on this later in the presentation. This is what the Open for Research platform looks like. It's quite straightforward. I'd like to draw your attention to the funding news tab where you can see the latest opportunities. Let's watch the next three training videos presented by Melen Jobin are open for research contact in France. Video one and two will focus on how to register and search for funding, while video three will show us how to create alerts and reports. Hi everybody, welcome on this video. My name is Milen, and today I will show you how to run your first search and how to register on Open for Research your platform for the identification of international research funding opportunities. The first thing you need to do to access Open for Research is to type openforresearch.eu slash Stellenbosch. Once you're on the homepage, um, you have to register. And to do so, you just need to click on register here. We need your university email address, your residency. Then you click on register and you will get an email with a link to create your password. Then you just need to log in with your new logins. When you're on the home page to start running a search, you need to click on search for funding. You'll see a list of questions. We need to know more about you to show you the best funding opportunities, the one that will fit your research projects. So first of all, we need to know who you are. What is your status? Are you an early career researcher, a senior career researcher, or a postgraduate? 
If you don't know if you're an early career researcher or a mid career researcher, please select both. Same for senior and mid career. If you're not sure, please select mid career and senior career researcher. As you might know, it may change from a founder to another. For some founders, early career researcher is under 35 years old, and for some others is the number of um, years of experience. So please do select multiple uh, stages here if you're not 100% sure. Next step, very important, is the discipline. We have a lot of discipline covered on Open for Research. You can either open the discipline tree to look for the uh, disciplines you're interested in, or you can type the disciplines you are looking for besides search phrase. I'll type sociology today, and it will be automatically clicked in the list. Of course, you can click on multiple disciplines, for instance, philosophy and sociology. In that case, you'll have funding opportunities that will be only for philosophy, some others only on sociology, and some on both disciplines. Question on some of the disciplines here. We have a glossary with all the definition on all the disciplines in the disciplines tree. Next step is your residency. By default, for you, it should be South Africa because it's probably the country you've selected when you have created your account. You can select an activities. Activities is for researchers that have in mind a specific uh, type of funding opportunities. For instance, academic industry collaboration, or you are looking for a funding opportunities for mobility or multidisciplinary research. Um, could be um, research equipment. You are looking for funds for um, a microscope or you need um, funding for a publication. So if you have a very specific project in mind, you can click on an activity here. My advice for your first search is to not click on any activities to make sure you have a wide range of choice on all the funding opportunities available on your research area. On Open for Research, if you don't select anything, by default, you select everything. So my advice is to have all those activities available on the list of funding opportunities you are eligible to. Where is your research taking place? Do you plan to stay in South Africa to run the project? Or do you wish to travel for that project? If you are looking for funding opportunities for mobility, where is the research taking place? It's where it's the country where you'd like to travel to. If you'd like to travel to Germany to um, run your project, you'll type Germany here. If you wish to stay in South Africa, you type South Africa. Where is your research taking place in South Africa? The next two questions are who is your preferred funder and where is your funder located? Again, my advice here is to leave it blank because if you select one specific funder, you will only see funding opportunities from that funder. And it's not the idea behind Open for Research. Open for Research is here to help you identify funders and funding opportunities you've never heard of. If you select a funder that you know or that you've heard of, you will not see other funders that you may apply to. Same, where is the funder located is where the funders is based. So for me, it doesn't matter where the funder is based as long as you are eligible to apply to the opportunities. Next step is the search by keywords. I've um, run a video on how to uh, run a search using keywords and the Boolean option that you can watch um, with a lot of details and information on how to run a search using the keywords. Thank you very much for watching this video and good luck on your search.
Hi everybody, welcome on this video. My name is Milan and to Welcome on this video. My name is Milen, and today I will show you how to run a search using the Boolean option on Open for Research, your platform for identification of international research funding opportunities. Once you've logged in on Open for Research, once you have entered all the different options available from status to nationality or activities, you have the option at the bottom of the page to look for something in particular using keywords, keywords that are related to your research project. My advice today is to always click on Boolean option here to have the Boolean clicked. Once you've clicked on Boolean, you will activate the search and the expression and or not and you will have to use quotation mark between words. For instance, and a simple search, you are looking for the world environment. Quotation mark, environment, you run the search. Now, you are looking for the world environment and climate, space, you use the expression and quotation mark. Climate, you are looking for funding opportunities that contains both words. Another scenario is you are looking for environment or climate, which means that you will have funding opportunities with just the word environment and some other funding opportunities with the word climate. You can also look for an expression like climate change. You can add or quotation mark. Another scenario I would like to find every fund that has the phrase climate change, but not environment included with them. In that case, you'll use climate change plus expression not environment. It will exclude all the funding opportunities that contains environment with climate change. Last scenario, I want to find every fund that has climate change included with them, but they also need to contain one of the following words, environment, green, and climate. To do so, what you need to type is the expression climate change and Brackets, environment, or climate, only. As you can see, you can run a more complex search using a lot of different keywords. We only have few keywords here. My advice is for you to at least use a minimum of five to six keywords for your search. Thank you for watching the video. Hi everybody, welcome on this new video. My name is Milen and today I will show you how to create an alert and how to run a report on Open for Research, your platform for the identification of international research funding opportunity. Once you have selected all your criteria, I've already um, recorded a video on how to run 
a search and how to register on Open for Research. You can watch it if you need more information. So once you have um, selected your criteria, you should have a list of all the founding opportunity that match your search. You will see the name of the funds, the name of the founder, a short description, the value, the status. If it's open, it means that you can apply today. If it's closed, it means that it's currently closed, but will be open again. You have the deadline when it's specified, and it says non-specified when it's currently closed. So when you are satisfied with the results, you can create an alert. And this is what you should all do, because the alerts it's um, a proactive alert that will be sent to your mailbox every Friday morning with all the funding opportunities that match your search. So you don't need to log in anymore. What you need to do is just to open this um, email every Friday morning for five to 10 minutes and to quickly look at all the funds that have been updated or added on Open for Research on your research area. To do so, you just need to click on Save Search on the right-hand side under the Save menu. You click on Save Search, you give a name, name of your, of your choice, and you click on Email Notification. And then you will get an email of the new funds that will match your search. To run a report, um, it's quite easy to. Maybe when you have the list of funding opportunities, you only want to select a few of those. You can click here to select the funds you are interested in, and you just have to click on Produce Report at the bottom of the page under the Report menu. Give a name of the report. You can either email the report or download the report, and it will automatically create a Word document with an extract on all the funds that you have selected. You can add comments, you can add information, delete information, you can highlight information that you want to focus on. And it's very easy. You can save it on your computer, you can send it to a colleague or to a partner you'd like to work with. Save search to create an alert, produce reports to extract information. Thank you very much for watching this video and good luck with your search. Good. If you would like to know more, please send an email to research at sun.ac.za or myself. Feel free to ask any questions you might have now. Thank you for your time.